Alright, so this right here is going to be uh, the Toro Time Cutter uh, 50 inch cut. This right here is going to be a little kind of raw, uncut, whatever, so to speak. I don't know if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to upload it in my other video or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to talk about something. So y'all see how this throttle cable is melting. If you wonder what this is right here, right there, this right here is a, a thermal sleeve. I just pushed this one back. And anyway, yeah, uh, we, we'll get into that maybe the next video. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, record this. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut, try to cut this sleeve, this jacket off. Because this right here just went up. I got a piece. It's in my pocket, and see right there. That right there, I pulled that off. I'm gonna keep that. Put it back in my pocket. So anyway, I'm gonna try to do this, maybe without getting burned or whatever. Uh. Maybe try going in from this way. Because I just got this out the shop. Like, today is Monday, right? And anyway, and this right here is already starting to melt. They had cut it from like here and yeah so since they done it guess what fuck it i'm about to do it so again this right here is on the churro time cutter this right here is uh a 2024 and yes this right here is under a warranty Anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and let me try to see if I can finagle this. I'm going to cut it back a little bit farther. Uh, you may be like, well, why are you doing that right there? And, you know, your zero turn is under warranty. Well, I just got it about the damn shop. And guess what? Uh, you know. It was up in there for how long? A month? Well, let me just go ahead and let me cut this back just a little bit more. All right. So we, all right, so we uh, headed out here to the workshop. I'm on my uh, phone right now. So let's go out here, fix this bad boy here. Anyway, uh, yeah, this right here is a Toro time cutter. No, I'm not going to be doing a whole recording on my phone. I'm just doing this right here, ATM, at the moment. I was trying to run this thing kind of hard. I mean, I just got this thing at the shop. And this right here is not uh, clickbait, nothing like that. I mean, I even show you proof. I got the paperwork, too. But, yeah, this right here was a little... Whatever that is, well, uh, they they put that on there. I guess maybe to identify my zero turn or whatever. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna blow this thing here off. I may may not include that into the video. And uh, yeah, I'm right, gonna pop this thing here off. This big old heavy uh, plate here. I forgot to get my teeth. Hopefully nothing in there. All right, now we're gonna blow out all this crap here. I'm just using my shop bag. 
and I just got the holes reversed. So we got that cleaned out. Now we're gonna uh, work our way uh, back to the back to the engine. If y'all are enjoying this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and comment. It helps me out a whole lot more than what you uh, know. What I do wanna do also as well, I want to make sure there's uh to make sure I can get this right here in the shot uh, the air filter all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this uh, filter out I'm gonna actually uh, vacuum this uh, here out Fit. We got this thing here all cleaned up. It's time to take it into the workshop and let's get busy. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back here with another video. We're back here with the 2024. Toro Time Cutter Max. Yes, this right here is the Toro Time Cutter Max. I really haven't found too many videos with people actually really, really, really just showing uh, in depth videos on this in particular zero turn. So that's what I'm here to do for y'all. Now, if I leave something out, y'all please let me know please let me know i'll be sure to uh answer any and all questions uh, there was people talking about the yeah they was asking about what type of uh hydro gear this right here uses yes uh this right here uses hydro gear yes we'll start with the seat so the seat I don't know what it's made out of. I want to say maybe some type of leather. That's what it kind of looks and feels like or whatever. Ah, yeah, I know I need to clip my nails. But anyway, yeah, uh, really haven't had time to because I've been on the phone with Turo, blah, blah, blah. I've been really busy doing a whole lot of stuff regarding this uh, zero turn. Uh, and yeah. But back to the seat. The seat is very, very comfortable. Really, really nice stitched. I mean, can y'all see those stitches? Look on your left and your right side of your screen. So they gave it like the, what? Uh, the gamer's chair, <laughs> so to speak. And yeah, so I, I really do like that. And it's really, really comfortable. Um, I don't know if I said this or not, but yeah, I'm not uh, actually gaslighting this um, part of the zero turn, the seat. But yeah, seat very, very nice. I like that. Uh, the deck, you have the 50 inch iron forge uh, cutting system. That's what they call it very very thick deck this thing here y'all see them welds look at these welds all the way around I mean even I mean I'm not making this up I mean 
even there. I mean, this thing is beefy, very beefy. I mean, then you have, uh, I forget what you call uh, these right here, um, the belt guard or whatever. I can't call the name of it. It's been a really long day. But yeah, that there, then you have the uh, cotter pin that it's held in by. Let's have a look up under here. Yeah, it's dirty. It was in the shop, and we're going to get into that, why it was in the shop. You know, I don't remember it being this dirty, but anyway, yeah, very uh, nice layout. This deck is very, very solid. But yeah, look at this, and it has the belt diagram right here. I mean, look at these welds. This right here is part of the frame right here. You got this. See all them welds. All right, so you have some tubeless tires. I believe these right here are tubeless. And I believe these right here are non-greasable. I don't believe there's any grease zerks. Moving over here to the uh, axle, the front axle. This right here, it has like a hole right here. Let's say if water uh, gets up in here, well, you have a hole right there. So that's the front of the zero turn. I don't know if it's just me. If you own this zero turn, uh, this here feels a little weak and sometimes it it takes a little bit of time for it to actually catch or whatever it like it's trying to catch up or whatever uh but anyway let me take off these uh neck lights but yeah uh that right there is a little concern but yeah i have a three-year warranty on it so far the hydros uh they're working really good you got this uh, down here. I'm not sure. I think this right here is like either a cast aluminum or maybe a cast iron. I'm not real sure. Then you have right here the thumb knob. You can uh, adjust these right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if you're a bigger person, smaller person, you know. See these little grooves right here? You can adjust these uh, thumb knobs. You got uh, a nice cup holder. You got a, a place to set like your phone or whatever you want to sit there. Uh, I had my phone and cigarettes in there earlier. But yeah, you got all this here. This big old piece of plastic just to kind of uh cover up this un this this space here whatever yeah you got a nice uh big old gas cap i mean my hands are pretty big so here's like the side view i'm not exactly what size tires these are um uh, <clears throat> they are really really beefy and they're held on by four four nuts here we have the Briggs & Stratton EXI 2200 V-Twin Advanced The Breeze Filtering It's hard for me to see this right here uh, 724 cc it does have a lot of power I mean I will I will give it that I mean it's It's pretty Pretty powerful. You got your dipstick right here, right over here. This right here is where you change your oil. You just pull up on this right here. You're supposed to be able to pull up on it. I can't uh, really do it one-handed, but yeah. And then it has like a drain 
um, the holes right there. Over here you have the battery, which right here is what came with the zero turn. Gave me no problems. You got your uh, oil filter, fuel filter. Here's where stuff gets interesting about this zero turn. Okay, you see these red lines right here? You see that right there? Turo, I want you to wake the f up. I want y'all to hear me. I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to do something about this, about this bullshit. You see this? Look at this. Why the hell would you put a choke cable, this choke cable, and throttle cable right there, not only by the over uh, overhead valve, but look, wait, there's more. You see it? What's that? Oh, that's the muffler. Why the hell would you put it right there? You stupid idiot. So what's what's this um, red sleeve? Oh, that's a fire sleeve. Anyway, there uh, I did see like a black uh, spot up here on the overhead valve but look what's going to it a gas line <laughs> I mean how dumb can y'all be and y'all are supposed to be made in the USA Minnesota to be exact I called y'all and stuff like that you done really nothing for me the only thing I got out of this I got a choke cable and a throttle cable that it's probably going to melt again. They manufactured it March of this year. I think I've already said that. But anyway, yeah. Just released this. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. Down here. Uh, it's still just a little bit warm. But yeah, look. Uh, in my other video that I had filmed on my phone. I had to uh, cut. Uh the jacket off so to speak because it was already melting I'll show y'all that here in a minute but look you see this right here look at this you see this Toro hello 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 can you hear me you stupid idiots you see this you see it right there Toro look at this look, look at what y'all manufactured so this right here was the very first piece that had melted. You can tell that that right there was fresh. Now this right here, I bought this right here. I spent about $36 and whatever change for this. So you may be asking me, am I happy with this zero turn? You damn right I am. But I think whoever engineered this you done a horrible job you get a F for fucking failure so yeah I mean and this right here this right here is the same setup the same exact setup is on what a bad boy yeah I will include that video that we've done I've done ranted about uh, this right here I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all something with this fire sleeve let's go over here and let's go over here and uh, let's get the thermal sleeve I already got a piece over here stuff right here is just too uh, yeah, I'm drawing them out that out. What what do y'all think is gonna happen? Hmm? What do you think? Let's see what we can do to this son of a bitch. All right, so we got the burnt in right here. I was just messing around with this here the other day. Yeah, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this up in here. We're going to torture this. <coughs> We're just doing it on the outside. 
no fast forward, no nothing. We're going to see. Alright. Don't want to really breathe this in. So I just want to kind of see like what happens or y'all need to see what happens. I need like some fireproof gloves or whatever. Alright. Y'all see it? Alright, now let's do it again. Well, actually, hold on. See if I can touch it. Eh, it's pretty warm. Ooh, yeah, really warm. So the reason why I'm doing this is because, one, if you're having an issue, uh, so like with your throttle cable, if you get this zero turn or any zero turn or you, or you just need it for like pipes or something like that. Yeah, see, look at that side. And then look at this. Let's torture it a little bit more. It's just my hand was getting a little tired. Now I've done seen people do this, but I wanted to see how long it actually takes. And I'm trying to be fair here. I don't know how long it actually takes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know exactly uh, what the flame. I'm going to leave that in the video. Uh, I don't know exactly how hot this thing here actually gets. So, yeah. And the purpose of me doing this is because I want to know that my cable is going to be safe. I mean, you know. So if y'all are wondering why I'm doing this, this is why. Okay, my hand is about getting tired because I'm squeezing on this trigger down here. I don't know how long it's been I've been holding this, but. I'm trying to see. Yeah, see how that right there does that. So yeah, I'm not real sure about this stuff. Yeah, see how that kind of does that but remember I did have this flame this very flame right here there we go <laughs> I had this flame right there so that right there was pretty hot all right so now uh, I'm gonna cut this fire sleeve all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, I'm going to slit it. Now what I want to do is, is I want to take this here and I want to uh, put it around the, I think it's the choke cable. Alright, so uh, I'm going to show y'all what I've done here. Uh, one thing that I didn't do was just 
go with my first idea. So what I wound up doing was do what they done. I just used some zip ties. So what I done was I just cut this piece right here and I just kind of wrapped it and then I just kind of uh, took the zip ties and then I just done it like that. As you can probably tell that right there is overlapping. This here is overlapping this one. So yeah, I done that. Anyway, yeah. But again, Toro, very, very poor engineering. I know it's probably like that on a whole lot of uh, other rod moors, zero turns. Technically, this right here is a zero turn. I'm gonna show you uh, something else that I like about this here. Let me sit down. Uh, anyway, I like uh, this right here. See that right there? Yeah, check out the Crocs. I'm really going hard with them. But anyway, yeah, uh, it raises and lowers the deck. You can set your deck height however you like it or whatever. I, I wouldn't say it's uh, real hard to push, but you know. It's a deck. I mean, you know, you gotta lift it up or whatever. But uh, yeah, you can set it to all of these heights here. Something uh, else that I like about this zero turn, I like this. Uh, it's like a plastic type of uh, chute. I have mine held up with a. I like this right here. The uh, throttle and the choke I like that it's pretty tight now again you got the choke you got your key toggle switch that's that's something else I like I really haven't uh, seen that on too many uh, rod moors zero turns or whatever but yeah you got that there uh, what else can we uh, talk about about this thing here? Uh, as I mentioned before, the seat is real nice and comfortable. Ah. But this seat is nice and comfortable. I do love it. Damn, now I don't want to even get up. But again, I'm going to tell you, Toro, your service is fucking garbage. Oh yeah, and something else that I want to speak on, about the zero turn, good luck with getting parts. That's how new it is. You can barely get, let's just say if I need a deck belt, you might be able to get a deck belt. Throttle cable, you can get one, but it's probably like an old part number. You could probably get one from like a, using like an old part number. You know, a lot of uh, ride moors and stuff like that. They use like uh, the same part number and stuff like that. I hope this video right here was informative. I hope it helped. Hope y'all liked it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Come 2025, you're gonna see this son of a bitch in action. You're going to see me cutting some real tall grass. I got some grass real tall right now. I'm taking connection. I see you <laughs> in the next video. Come on, did you cut my head off this time? Anyway, peace out. And haters keep hating. That just motivates me. I love y'all all. I'm out.